suspect. Whiskey 15, I'm on scene at the parking structure. I've got the suspect. He's uh, on the west side of the structure, top level. He's uh, checking door handles. The two minute response time is unheard of. Um, when you call us and we're there in two minutes, you won't even, you'll barely be hanging up the phone and we're there. That is something that's unheard of because it's a common complaint throughout law enforcement. We just started our drone as a first responder program that's called the DFR program. The pilot, the drone pilot, is sitting at a location in our station, our real-time crime center. From here, we can hear the call go out. We can punch in the location and have the drone on scene normally within two minutes or less. If it is a crime in progress and we realize or we get up-to-date information from a witness in that area that that suspect is moving, we're able to also in real time update that location or I can take over and start changing that location. Once the drone is on scene, the pilot can transmit the officers if there is in fact a crime occurring or if there's no need for their response at all. If we don't have video uh, of the crime occurring, sometimes those cases go nowhere. So if we're able to get a drone overhead recording that happening, uh, not only is it helpful for the officers for us to direct them to know where that suspect is going, it also helps uh, not only the investigators but the district attorneys in the prosecution of that case. So this program is a completely reactive program. It's not proactive. We're not out proactively looking, looking for crime. We're not looking in people's backyards. We are there because there's a legitimate call for service. We will respond to that call for service. We will have the drone's ability there and we will use it to the maximum extent. We need real-time situational awareness so we can get there and save people's lives. These drones give us that capability. It's, it's disaster preparedness. It is helping us to look for seniors that are lost when we have silver alerts. It's helping us for kids that get lost. It is off of the charts in terms of how much better public safety becomes because of this. Other larger agencies that have already begun their DFR program have reported between 20 and 25 percent of their patrol calls were actually handled by the drone. So right now we're in the first phase of our DFR program where we have three of these dogs position throughout the city. Eventually we want the entire city covered, which means we're going to install more docks eventually. That way we can respond to any call in the city within two minutes. We're going to solve crimes quicker. Our response times should be two minutes by the time uh, we get done with this program. You're not going to have that anywhere in the country. This allows us to let business be uh, conducted as usual without significant interruptions. It's going to be, it's going to be a game changer.